Well, hi everybody. I'm back with another completed project. I've just been having too much fun these last couple days. and ended up staying up way too late last night working on this one, but had so much fun doing it and I was on a roll. I figured I just need to go ahead and finish it. So I've taken one of the, um, the little plain wood bird cages from Michael's and did my version of an alteration on it. Um, there will be some still pictures at the end of the video uh, because I won't be able to show you the whole thing um, in this because it is a little bit tall. Um, but what I did, I painted the whole thing um, and then on the top I used a copper paint and a metallic um, Oh, who is that from? It was metallic ink um, and green. Had it for years, so I don't even know if it's still carried or not. But did like a, a little copper roof on it with a patina. And then on the front, um, I did an Elmer's glue process. I um, First I painted the whole outside in brown. And then I just brushed on some Elmer's glue let that set up just a little bit but not dry and then did some white um, gesso on top of that to give it a little bit of a weathered look. Um, I actually ended up doing two coats of the white gesso because the first coat was just a little bit too weathered looking for me. And then I did the little um, copper patina on the knob and used some um, just some copper ink on the hinges just to tie that in. And let me see if I get this is a little tight because of all the paint. Trying to get the door open here. Okay, and on the inside, I did um, decoupage some um, vintage uh, French sheet music on the bottom of the bird cage. I don't have a bird for it yet, but um, that'll come in time. And one thing that I did learn, and I'll share with you, um, if you're going to paint the inside, which if you're going to paint the outside, you're going to want to paint the inside because you will get a mess on the inside while you're painting the outside. Um, so I would suggest that you spray paint the inside first before you even try to paint the outside of it. Um, I ended up having to wrap the whole thing in paper and then was shooting spray paint through the front door. The door was removed at that point, but um, spray painting it and did end up having to do just a little bit of touch up on the roof so it wasn't too bad, but I defi definitely highly recommend spray painting the inside of your bird cage first if you're going to paint the outside. Okay, and then on the top, I've attached the spray. Uh, made a little bead spray. Uh, that's a lovely scrapping tutorial. Um, added some fresh baby's breath that will eventually dry out and should look pretty nice. Um, made some some of the paper roses um, out of the vintage sheet music. I uh, did those just on plain copy paper, um, but printed double-sided again. And added one of Trisha's pretty little stick pins and a couple of the little pink roses that she had sent. And made a t uh, shabby twisted um, fabric rosette and a little bling in the center. Again, from Trisha. See, Trisha, you're just giving me all kinds of inspiration with the awesome things that you sent me. And then I had some um, sheer organza ribbon. So, it's it, it's actually what they use for uh, tree trimming. Um, our Kmart out here every year has um, just has bolts and bolts of this in different colors, and I totally stock up on it because I use it year-round. It's almost my signature for a gift wrap. Um, so I usually try to coordinate it with whatever paper I'm using. Um, and this is just a really, really pale, pale pink. Um, 
So doing the double bows, um, got that inspiration from um, Laurie at More Art from the Heart. She had a good video on an altered bird cage that she had did and showed how she did her spray and I just really thought it was so pretty. I think she used three layers and some lace. Um, but this with the uh, weathered, the lace just didn't seem to fit for me so I didn't use any. Okay, and then I attached it to a candlestick which I partly decoupaged with the sheet music again and did the uh, patinaed copper finish on the top and bottom parts of it. And there's the bottom and then added another little copper organza bow with a little sheet music flower in the center. And then I did this little dangle. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. Um, but I had a piece of jewelry from a yard sale that had this nice little pink pearl dangle on it um, and a tiny little butterfly and attached it to a little bird charm and attached the whole thing to a little tag that I made. Um, this is using one of the crafty Embly tabs and just did the little design on the front and same thing on the back in case it flips around. Um, so it's just a pretty pretty little bird in a nice setting over top of the uh, sheet music. And then added um, just cut some strings of pearls like champagne and cream. So that is my attempt at a little shabby chic bird cage. I do need to find a bird for it though. And with all the sheet music, I'm inclined to call this Songbird. So it will have to be a, a little canary or something like that. Nice little bird that sings a lot. <laughs> so I hope you like it. And um, that'll be it for now. I'm doing some furniture rehab today. And um, maybe I'll have some pictures of, of that coming up in the near future. Hope you all have a great day and we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.